Hi guys! So today, as you can tell, we have no makeup because we are going to do a makeup transformation inspired by Mary Shaw from the movie Dead Silence. Mary Shaw is this ventriloquist creepy puppet doll controlling woman who has a whole bunch of ventriloquist dolls so we're gonna try to recreate this look in a makeup transformation so let's get started of course as always it seems like I'm gonna put my hair up because we need it out of the way to put some makeup on our face we're gonna start off by using a cut cream foundation but any foundation will do that is almost white one of the lightest shades of foundation that they make it's gonna be Casper the friendly ghost off-white pale dead it's like my skin color in the winter. I can't believe they make a foundation color lighter than me, honestly. But we are gonna use that to paint on the patches of skin that's gonna be protruding out. This is called a theater aging makeup and I am just doing the puffs of fat and human skin that sag when you're older. That's gonna be your cheeks. As you can tell, I'm doing a sharp line and then blending it out with the same brush or you can blend it out with your fingers. Gonna do a frown marks and paint in the little puffs of skin that are sticking out when you frown. Do the bridge of your nose. Do your lips and the top of your lip, your upper lip, because that gets fat and sags when you're older sometimes, especially in Mary Shaw. And we are doing an old age makeup, so gonna do the chin and the jowls on the sides of your mouth. I love that word jowl. It makes us sound so imperfect and weird and quirky like humans are. You're gonna do the frowns above your forehead, those frowns you get when you wrinkle really tight or if you're super young and baby child age. And then I'm just gonna get a taupe color, mix it with some browns and grays from my Ben Nye Death Wheel palette. You're gonna paint that in the frown marks. These are gonna be the creases and wrinkles in your face. Trust me, it will look good and old. Under that highlight fold we made of that laugh line, the corners of our mouth, under our chin area, you want them to go downwards on the sides of where we're gonna do a contour line, everything to go downwards. And those head frown highlights that we drew on before, a little bit under that. And then I'm gonna get my favorite sponge of all time, that is the Expert Blending Sponge. It is the dupe to the Beauty Blender. I'm not sure if that's exactly what it's called, but you should go get it. It's at Ulta, so much cheaper and better than the Beauty Blender, in my opinion. You should get this. We are using that damply to blend in all the product. You can use it dry as well. You can use another dry sponge to help blend it in a little bit better. You could use more highlight color to make parts of your face stand out more so that the old age lines sink in better. Does that make sense? I'm using that taupe color to also make some contour lines on the sides of my head. It's going to be like that divot in your skull bone if you study skulls and use it to blend in the contour line. I'm going to use that around my nose to make it more American, Caucasian, old woman white. And then using a brown eyeliner pencil, just get whatever cheap dollar store eyeliner pencil you can find. Honestly, girl, it don't matter in this department because we are going to use it to draw in the cracks in the face of this Mary Shaw creepy ventriloquist puppet doll woman. So that whatever anger you have towards creepy characters in movies, just let it go during this. She deserves a little crack in the face. That sounds violent and mean, but she gets very scary. Just wait. Making little ventriloquist doll marks where our jaw drops for a dummy doll puppet thing that creeps you out in the middle of the night. Doing those cracks above our forehead on our cheek on one side, you wanna do like kind of a map pattern. They're gonna look like little continents on that globe that we use in elementary school, but I assure you, they are cracks. Continue that crack on the other side of our mouth towards our cheek. Do a little dot on her forehead with that too because she has some sort of mole or growth or weird thing like old people do. Getting this yellow type color from the Ben Nye Death Wheel palette and tapping it in the center of those crack marks where you want it to sink into your skin. Doing a crack mark on our chin as well. Getting that brownish maroon color from our Ben Nye Death Wheel palette that we've used a little bit before and doing it in the cracks with a very tiny brush inside the sides of it where you want it to sink in and look like holes that are trying to appear in her skin because you do not like her and she's scaring you. Do that on those two cracks on that side of your face. Fill in that bottom crack on your chin and then that top crack above your eyebrow. I'm getting this burnt type of orangish color and painting inside of the crack, it is going to give it so much more sinking in depth. It's gonna kind of look like it's bruised a little bit in these cracks, it's gonna look so much better. I don't know why. This color is just going to make it pop a little. 
Get some sort of black paint, or I am using some black lipstick I had on hand with a very thin brush, and painting in the center of the cracks. Very thin lines, this is going to define it and look like it's sinking in to a black hole in your skin, or it's going to move like the jaw is going to drop. You're going to do it on those jaws. And we're going to use it to outline the little cracks that we painted on our face, or major cracks, whatever you want to do. You can make this as crazy as you want. Use your mind and freedom because these cracks are going to give it way more definition and make it look a little bit more realistic like she's about to come and attack you. Getting a light gray taupe-ish type eyeshadow with a paint or an eyeshadow brush. Whatever brush is long and thin but still fluffy at the end so we could do type of bruises or age spots all over the face. You want to do this surrounding the crack marks, on the outside of the cracks, on the forehead, around the mouth, on some of the shadows on that side of your temple. Getting some matte black eyeshadow, this is one of the top things you need when you do makeup transformations with a fluffy blending brush and blending that around the eyes. We're going to do those hollow eye sockets that look like holes were burnt into Mary Shaw's face. Like she has just been creeping in your closet and just waiting to bring you in. She has no soul. There's no windows there to her soul in her eyes. It's just going to be these creepy black holes and we're going to try our best to make it look like it's going to look like charcoal dust. Just disgusting. It's going to look great. You want a lighter blend on the outside of the sockets. You want to put it on the sockets of your eye where your skull would be. You know, it's creepy to think about, but it's going to help you. And darker towards the inside of your eye on the top and bottom lids. Don't get this in your eye, please. Just try. I know it's hard. Girl, sometimes I'm so tired, I'm just like, ooh, this eyeshadow doesn't go on my eyeball. It goes on my eyelids. I understand. You can tap more age spots anywhere you want. But then I'm getting the maroon brown color from that Midnight Death Wheel. You should use a brush, but I'm using my finger because I'm lazy. But use a brush and color in the lips. Because once that color is on there, I'm going to get some black lipstick with a brush again, a thin one, and do an outline on the outside and then blend it in towards the middle. You could shape your lips however you want. You don't want them to look cute and innocent and plump and tiny like mine usually do. You want them to be thin and rough. I mean straight lines, not jagged, but just a thin, old, creepy, shriveled up mouth. It's going to look like a dead, disgusting, dry prune on your face. I know that's weird to think about, but it is. Just the colors. Painting with all of them of the wind to make them look dead and creepy on your face. And now that we are done with that portion of the makeup, we are going to take those bobby pins out of our hair and move on to the next step. You could do some teasing some waves with a curling iron if you want to get all fancy, but then we are going to spray our hair white. With some white hair coloring paint. You don't have to spray your hair if you don't want to. Get a wig if you can. This was so hard to do. I sprayed this in. It stunk. It was terrible. Go in a bathroom that's well ventilated with the window open or do it outside because it stinks so bad. Instead, I would suggest using dry shampoo. I did a mixture of both. Dry shampoo is just as rough. Like I said again, do it outside or in a ventilated area. This smells like it could kill me. And now that we look like Ursula's more creepy evil grandmother with this haircut and style, we are going to paint our teeth. Yes, I said paint our teeth. I got a specific palette just to paint your teeth. There's like tooth colors to make it look like you've been smoking tobacco, but we are going to use the blackest one and get the actual spray used to activate palettes like these. These palettes are kind of pricey. I just wanted to try it for the first time. They taste disgusting as you would imagine putting sprays of chemicals and paints on your teeth. Not pleasant. I wouldn't suggest it. You could skip this step, honestly. I put a cardigan on and a scarf around my neck because Mary Shaw wears some sort of Victorian turtleneck in the movie. Plus, it blends in with the background, makes the face showcase more. And once you're done with that makeup, we are not done yet. We're going to do another step where we put contacts in our eyes. These hurt so bad, but they look so cool, so I'm suffering through it. They're not prescription, so I can't see anything but blurry lines, but they are yellow eyes. We're going to fix our eye makeup a little bit, put some more black paint, or you could do some liquid eyeliner just to make it pop out more and make the contacts stand out a little more. But once those creepy contacts are in, that is our finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had so much fun doing it. I have been super tired and at school, but coming home and filming these for you guys has been so much fun. It took me roughly almost three hours to make this. I know that sounds a lot just for this, but it was fun. As you can tell, my hair will stay this way till I take a shower, which I'm about to do. 
If you didn't use a wig and you sprayed your hair like my lazy butt, get a clarifying shampoo to hopefully get all of it out. I'll list what I use down below again. Getting the stuff out of the teeth was funny and weird. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you would like to see in another makeup transformation. Your suggestions are always greatly accepted and awesome. I know this makeup look was super random and creepy and I hope I don't give any of you nightmares, especially for the younger audience, but Halloween is just not that farther away than I thought. And I am getting ready and prepared. Looking forward to so many more videos with you guys. Thank you again for watching. It is tough filming these videos, but I cannot wait to keep making more. I love you guys to pieces and I'll see you next week. Bye!